Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make part 3 of my how to build a prison tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to make a prison boss. And by the way, let me know if you saw where I was hiding in the intro. I was very sneaky. This tutorial is not really dependent upon part 2 and part 1. You could place your prison bus anywhere in your world. However, it would make sense and it would look really good next to your very own prison. So if you haven't made part 2 and part 1, the links are down below in the description. The thumbnail, sir, look like this. Feel free to make the prison first before the bus or vice versa, the bus and then the prison, is completely up to you. One thing that is required though, is a road. So before I begin building, I am quickly going to give myself a little road in front of my prison. This takes absolutely no time whatsoever with a little bit of magic. And here are all of the materials that we will need to make the bus. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these. Now with all of that done, let's get started. So the first thing that we have to do in making the prison bus is place a black concrete. Then once the black concrete has been placed on the ground, we are going to place a polished deep slate slab in front of it. Extend that slab to the left by one, two, three. And then behind the end slab, place a black concrete and then place a row of four stone slabs behind the black concrete. One, two, three, four. Then place another black concrete. Then place three stone slabs. One, two, three. With a polished deep slate slab on the end. Then extend the slab across the build by one, two, three. Same as we did on the front. We now want to copy the row that we are now looking at, so we want to place three stone slabs moving forward, followed by a black concrete, and then stone slabs connecting all the way back to the front set of wheels. We are then going to fill the center of this in using stone slabs. This would also be a good time to change the inside material if you did want to. Well, now that we have the base of this complete, we are going to place blast furnaces on the front to middle blocks with quartz stairs either side of the blast furnaces. We then want to extend each quartz stair backwards by two using block of quartz. One, two. One, two. Place a white concrete on each of the second blocks. Then place a black glass pane in front of the white concrete and a black glass connecting them together, like so. It's up to you what you want to place underneath the glass, but I'd recommend a contrast material like block of iron. Then, on top of the glass blocks themselves, we are also going to place block of iron. And sideways facing... quartz stairs. Something that we should do as well is place stone buttons on the sides of the tires. These are the black concretes in amongst all of these slabs. Now with all of that being done ladies and gentlemen, we are going to grab a door. So an iron door specifically. This iron door is going to get placed behind this side of the boss. And then we are going to continue and place block of quartz all the way around the edge of the outline of the base of the build. Opposite the iron door, we want to place an iron bar on top of the block of quartz that once again corresponds with the door. We then want to place white concrete next to the door and the bar, and we actually want to place an alternating pattern of white concrete, iron bars, white concrete, iron bars, extending all the way to the back of the build, until we eventually hit the point in which we can't place anymore. So on the back of the build, we are just going to place a block of quartz in between, or perhaps a different material in between the... Maybe, maybe we'll just go with the actual white concrete. We don't have to contrast with everything. So 
we want to place white concrete, join it all together. We're then going to place quartz stairs extending back from the original set of quartz stairs that we have on the front of the build. So we'll extend both of these backwards like so. And then we will join them together at the back using block of iron. We can fill the top of the bus in using block of iron also. That's perfect. And now we have some further detail to add. So for the outside of the bus, we'll need the glow item frame. Block of quartz will work nicely as well. Item frame, birch sign, acacia button, red concrete, stone buttons, and we'll also need a lever. So glow item frames in front of the front two pair of forward facing quartz stairs with block of quartz inside the item frames. Regular item frames in front of the sideways stairs and birched birch signs in front of the block of iron. We want to place a lever next to the door and that is actually quite functional. It also looks like a wing mirror. So that's something that you might want to consider placing on the opposite side also. If we come to the back of the build, we're going to have a pair of item frames at the bottom with red concrete inside of them, and then acacia buttons above. There we go. Perfect. Now, as we move into the actual bus itself, let's open this up. First of all, we are going to want to create a barrier between the front and the back. So, we'll actually need an iron door. The iron door will be placed here. I'm thinking that maybe we do kind of go with like the block of iron next to the door because it just looks a little bit more secure and we'll need a stone button to actually open and close it so we'll need that on both sides you know what i'll wait <laughs> okay uh, I, I guess i can't operate the door today but we need deep slate tile stairs end rod iron trap doors and we'll also need a way in and out of the door actually we we can just leave the door open as it is decorative as it's not an actual bus itself like we're not going to be driving this around we will just have the door permanently open unless you know you want to place it in like a city or something but for the actual driver's seat deep slate tile stair in front of it an end rod with an iron trap door on top of it that will look like a steering wheel and if you do kind of want to have like a gear stick or something similar then we can have a lever positioned to the right of it so actually opening this door now and actually getting in successfully we want to place a stone button in here just so that we can get in and out of course and then deep slate tile stairs will act as actual seats inside of the actual bus we only have a couple of them unless you want to have more you know if you want you can cram like an extra one in here just right at the front in front of the button and we're just going to place trip by hooks right next to the actual seats and those could be two like shackled prisoners to the actual seats themselves and uh, in doing that ladies and gentlemen we have actually completed our tutorial but there is actually another variation of this boss and i'm not sure whether i prefer it so let me show it you and you can tell me whether you prefer it or whether you like this version better so i'm legitimately not sure which i prefer this bus is different in the fact that the bottom row, instead of block of quartz, we have black concrete powder, which I think looks really cool, and it breaks up all of the white that we have in the build, so it provides a nice contrast material, and as a result of that, I had to change the wheels from black concrete to grey shulker boxes, and that's pretty much the only difference. This is going to be a personal choice, it's completely up to you which one you would prefer to make. This one, I think, might be my favourite, but legitimately, I'm not sure. You can always have different versions if you like as well. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial. Please do remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. If you would like to make anything else by me, please do check down below there in the description for the City Builds playlist. I have so many things for you to make. You will not be bored, trust me. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.